track and field athletes. At the 1994 Olympic Winter Games in Lillehammer, Norway, things got off to a bad start when the two-man team of Dudley Stokes and Wayne Thomas was disqualified for having an overweight sled, caused from a change in runner blades just before the race. The news was devastating. It was to be the hour before dawn. This competition has already been a nightmare for the United States. It will only get worse if Randy Will fails to finish ahead of the Jamaican sled, and that's a possibility heading into the final run. It was six years ago that Dudley Stokes and the Jamaicans burst onto the scene in Calgary. Back then, they were a likable sideshow, but some feared for their lives the way they were driving. Yeah, he had no clue about driving the big four-man sleds, and this crash here, I thought, ended his career. To see him here, he's finally figured out how to drive a sled, Sean, and that's why he's where he is right now in the competition. He's got a clue about the sport, finally. The first sled to take the final run of the competition, Jamaica won in 15th place heading into the final run when they were disqualified from the two men last weekend for being overweight. The Jamaicans said they were concentrating their efforts on the four men. They said they'd be a factor, that they'd finish in the top 15, and most people scoffed at them. Their best finish ever in the Olympics, 24th, two years ago. They are steadily improving. Well, the start times is what's given them the chance to improve. There's a great start, 502, Sean. And they're track and field athletes that are finally acclimating to cold weather. They've had a real rough time out in bobsledding coming from a warm country like Jamaica to figure out how to run and sprint in cold weather temperatures. Of course, their story inspired the movie Cool Runnings, which was intended to be humorous and, in fact, was. But what has developed here from the American standpoint is not the least bit funny, as the Jamaicans have a chance to finish ahead of the only remaining American sled in the field. They're 23 hundredths of a second behind Randy Will coming into this final heat, but they picked up 38 hundredths on Will in the third heat. Yeah, he's got good speed. He's got those DGG runners we're talking about on his sled. He's got a great piece of equipment underneath him. He's got a great time, 52-51. That's a great heat. He 52-39 in one heat, 52-51 in the other. Dudley Stokes has finally figured out how to drive a sled. He had the 10th fastest time the entire field in the third run, and he had a good run here. This line here is a good medium-high line as he comes around 13. Watch the head snap. A little bit of rough transition. He drifts over to this wall. In the old days, he would have driven off that wall and the next wall and back and forth. He's finally figured out the less driving you do, the better success you have. So he has put the pressure on Randy Will and the Americans. They need a good run to stay ahead of the Jamaicans and finish this Olympic competition ahead of Jamaica 1. Now the last run of Randy Will's career. Driving USA 1 in 13th place. After three heats, they've been dropping back with every run. They were eighth after the first run, tenth after the second, now 13th. And they need a time of 52.74 to finish ahead of the Jamaicans. That would be a faster time than their first heat today. He had a disastrous first heat today. Very average start time of 5.06. 5.06 again. The Jamaicans beat it by 400 at the start. I think the air was out of their bag in the first heat yesterday, Sean, where they didn't do better than the eighth place. They should have done a lot better than that with that fresh ice to work with. Certainly, Randy Will does not want to end his career, and he is retiring after the Olympics with the embarrassment of finishing behind the Jamaicans. It's a distinct possibility. Well, he's losing time down the track here. And I think Randy just wants to get to the bottom, go home. His wife's expecting a baby in 10 days or so. Through 13, hit the wall. Not very good speed. Remember the time to beat to stay ahead of the Jamaicans, 52.74. He didn't do it. Under to the second. The Jamaicans will finish ahead of the only remaining United States sled in the four-man bobsled competition.